Hi, I'm Argonaut. I'm a software engineer at a high frequency trading company. So I made this poll here to ask you guys what you wanted to see next and you somehow managed to keep it at 50 50 the entire time. Thank you for that. <laughs> But since I kept getting this question on Twitch as well as in the YouTube comments, I thought I would make this video first. How to choose your personal projects as an engineer or as a coder or whatever. I got tons of questions about how to choose the perfect project for HFT or FANG or what is the perfect language to start learning. But I think that is the wrong approach. Let me explain why. First, let's talk about program language choice. A lot of people stress about finding the perfect first language which to learn when in reality it's so much more important in the beginning to learn how to think like a programmer how to solve problems how to read documentation how to google stuff those things are so much more important than your first language so for example if you started learning java in class keep learning java and become proficient at it instead of trying and looking at the next better language. As a bonus, it's still a language that is widely used in industry, even at HFT. For example, IMC is well known to use Java for anything that it's not their executive code. So it's still a great language to learn. If you don't study computer science, for example, or something similar, and you wanna get into something that's a lot more easy to get into, Python is still a great choice and it's also still used in a lot of FANG and HFT companies. You don't have to start with C++ or learn Rust because it's super hyped at the moment. Learn whatever you feel comfortable in and most importantly what you enjoy using because that is the only way you're gonna stick with it. Now let's start talking about the actual project choice. Now in my opinion there are two ways of making a successful project. Number one, you need the end result of the project, meaning you need the product. And number two, you want to learn something very specific and build something around that and you're fine not finishing the project. Let's start by discussing number one, because in my opinion, it's the preferred method of starting personal projects. The biggest problem with personal projects is that you start them, you have fun for a couple of days, but then you encounter some form of problem or a temporary slump in motivation motivation and then end up abandoning them. To combat this problem, finding a project that you actually need the end product of makes it much more likely that you're going to stick through those pain points and slumps in, in motivation. Let, Let me explain. explain. At the start of the pandemic, my university transitioned to only online lectures. Now I have massive ADHD, so I needed a way to keep track of which lectures I've watched, where I stopped in the middle of them and all of these kinds of things. So I built my own media dashboard that allows me to do this exact thing and because I needed it for this semester I had to build it no matter what or I wanted the discord bot so I could do things with my friends like listening to music together so I built it or right now for example I would need a, a stock exchange to learn how to write trading algorithms without any real money or repercussions and I'm doing so live on twitch you can go and follow and chat to me and watch me build stuff and I could go on and on and on about these projects, like my own YouTube downloader service, my own file hosting service, my own status service. Whenever I needed something, I built it. And because I needed the product and I wanted it fast, I had to build it no matter what, no matter the problems I encountered, no matter the slumps in motivation, I wanted the end result, so I stuck to it. Find something you need or something that costs money and you don't wanna pay for it and build it. Stop stressing about what is the perfect project for your CV or for HFT or for FANG. Just build something. If you need it, chances are it's useful for not just yourself. Now let's move on to the second option. Sometimes it's fine to not finish a project. If you want to learn something very specific, build a project just around this very specific skill or technology or API or whatever that you want to learn and then just build that. For example, I wanted to learn about graphics programming, so I built a very simple renderer. I didn't have to build everything else that belongs into an, an engine because that is not what I wanted to learn. So I just built the very specific part of this project. Once I've learned everything that I wanted to learn, I moved on. And you can do that with anything that you want to learn that is very specific and doesn't belong in a broader project. But it is extremely important to not only do these kinds of projects. Do projects of both kinds, specific ones and products that you need. Because there is a very big difference to the code quality, the engineering requirements, the architecture knowledge when you write a very big finished polished project versus a very 
one-off small learning experience. As an example, my graphics render was about 2000 lines of code, while my Discord bot went over a hundred thousand line changes and it's on its third iteration and currently standing at 15,000 lines of code. So do both. The last thing I want to quickly touch upon is how to put these kinds of projects on your CV. I'll go more in depth on that in my next video, but I want to quickly touch on it. But subscribe and stay tuned for that. When presenting personal projects, you want to highlight the things that you've done, achieved and learned. You have to sell yourself to a recruiter, so write it that way. My Discord bot isn't some engineering marvel that no one else could have done. But since I've highlighted that the bot had around 350,000 users at the time and went through millions of messages a day, it sounds a lot more impressive than it is. So try and get some sort of data out of your project, some kind of numbers that you can demonstrate and show off. It's not always possible, but much more often than you think it would be. I hope this cleared up some confusion. Now go find something you need and start coding. I will be gone for a little bit because I'm moving countries, but I'll be back very soon. This was Argonaut from Argonaut Developments. See you next time.